in the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's begun. You can feel it. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy Powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy Powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy Powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or, or the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and errors, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, uh, achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. And I'll say this, I salute uh, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Atlantic, even though I greatly disagree with Branson's Politics, I salute his innovations and his trailblazing and the uh, astronauts, uh, one of which lost their lives. I mean, that's what it's all about right there. And any world where humans aren't at risk is a dead world, is a technocracy, is a nanny state, police state on purpose. All right, going back to Chris in New York. Chris, you're making the point that if it's not racism, it's sexism. This is how they direct it to change the subject into other issues. And then it gets so politically correct that everybody knows it's all over local news in every major city that whites and others are being attacked by black mobs. And it's just supposedly acceptable. And it's going on where I live to the point of you can't go out in any of these areas. And it's not in the news because it's politically incorrect. Well, what happens when they run Hillary? If you don't support her gun control, you don't like women. I mean, it's just amazing how they change the subject. Go ahead. Well, I agree. That is exactly their agenda. Uh, every, every white man, if it's heterosexual, straight, in a sitcom or in even cartoons, they are inherently evil. Um, I also want to uh, wanted to address before uh, before I go about the uh, humanist driving. If you go back to the movie I Robot, the uh, the Will Smith scene when he's driving, then all the robots are jumping out because he's supposed to be having an accident. It's something to actually be, you know, 
that is good to look at because what it's just a control grid that is out of control. <laughs> It is. And, and uh, again, the plan is to control us and track us and tax us by the mile. It's not like I'm saying they're going to bring out driverless cars and make us use them on my own. That's the plan. And it's diabolical. Great to hear from you. Mark in Texas says he's former law enforcement. Wants to talk about police state. I notice they've got bills in Congress to stop militarizing police now. Uh, that's in the Hill newspaper push to demilitarize cops yeah, in lame duck a session of Congress. Look, I don't defend the actions of cops that are out of control, but the point is it's the feds that did this. And this is happening worldwide, this trend. I don't care if police have military hardware if it's not pointed at the people and political speech. It's not even so much about the weapons they have. The criminals have high power. The police need it. It's that it's politically aimed and directed. That's the problem with it. Because next, let me tell you, the UN plan is after they've disarmed the people, it's the cops. Read State Department Memorandum 7277. It's declassified. Uh, Mark, go ahead in Texas. Yeah, I'm theory, okay? Um, you know, you, you had, not that long ago, you had a, uh, on your um, website about, I believe the guy was the guy who was shot in the back in Orlando, Florida, the uh, Russian or the uh, Chechen Tadarov. Yeah, they um, killed one of the guys that knew one of the Boston bombing yeah. patsies. The FBI executed okay. him. Now, if, if I don't know if you know you noticed, but I, I did a little research on that. Um, I'm sorry, I, I kind of thought you would follow up on that too, but I know you're so busy, you got so many things. But what I found out is this FBI agent was actually a former Oakland, California police officer, and he had been just on the verge of being arrested in Oakland. In Oakland, he was a, he was a dirtbag. Okay. And he managed somehow to get some kind of a disability pension, um, a nice size disability pension, supposedly because he broke his ankle. And then the FBI hires him. Now, I, I can tell you this, Alex. I've tried to work for, in uh, private security uh, for um, Bell Helicopter and Pantex here in Texas, and I couldn't get it because um, I couldn't pass the, the security the security background. The, uh, you know that the that the federal government runs it on you, and um, it's a very it's very tough. And for the FBI, they have the, the number one security clearance. So I have a I you know I have a suspicion that what happens is not only the federal government, but a lot of police agencies now are hiring criminals. They they uh, what do you call the a sheep dip a lot of their records and stuff like yes. that and. Then they use them to do dirty work. Well, yeah, this like, always went on in the Army. And and then they would even change identities. Uh, and, oh, absolutely, you've got white side and dark side. And now the dark side is completely getting rid of the so-called compartmentalized good guy side of the FBI. And uh, it's just literally Gestapo. And it's, it's so sad. They admit that they shot him in the back of the head while he was being interrogated, and there was no investigation. They just said, we will now tie you up and shoot you in the back of the head whenever we want. Uh, it's just a reign of terror, sir. It, 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 and people are intimidated by that. If we allow this to happen, it's all over. I mean, they are preparing Homeland Security for war with gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans. And if we cower to that, they will then win and take over. And, and listen, if you think it's bad now, there's still a lot of good people in the FBI. Uh, but I remember my dad when I was like 18, getting out of high school, and he had the head of the federal marshals was his buddy. He since moved out of Texas, been retired for a long time. And he was just about to retire. And uh, I've been saying, you know, I want to be a forest ranger. I want to work in cattle production. Or maybe I'd be a cop, help people. And my dad goes, well, here, talk to this guy. See what he has to say. Because he heard about this. And the guy said, are you a criminal? Do you want to lie and hurt innocent people? And I said, no. And he goes, then you don't want to... You don't want to work for the, you know, the feds. And I didn't really want to work for the feds. Just my dad was a smart type of guy that wouldn't tell me what he thought. He would just let me talk to somebody else. And the guy looked so sad when he told me that. And that's because it's always been corruption. But it's just taking over. And we're going to collapse like a third world country. I mean, it's just so scary now. God bless you. I hear you. You know, I mean, we did cover that. We went over it. And uh, the Boston bombing was totally staged. Uh, Chad in Kentucky, you're on the air. Welcome. And uh, yeah, talk right in your telephone for me. Don't listen to your radio. All right. Yeah, I got to let you go, Chad. Your phone's bad. Uh, how do you pronounce this next caller? 
Giuliano, that's what I thought. It's so small on the screen. Giuliano in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. How are you doing, Alex Jones? Good, brother. All right, I got a quick question. You know, my dad, he's like, he thinks it's all conspiracy. You know, I'm trying to tell him, hey, look, you know, Ebola's out there. You know, they're covering it up. I've showed him all the documents that y'all have and I've looked for. He still won't believe it, you know. It kind of sucks, but, you know, what should I do? I know, I know it's out there. Well, what we know is they're leaving the borders open, letting people fly them, and all these other countries have banned it, and then letting people that have it, like these doctors and nurses, fly and go to bowling alleys and subways, and something isn't right. We're going to find out after the election. They could be covering up the spread, or it could be a simulant. I'm not saying it's not real Ebola uh, over in uh, Africa. Uh, it's just I don't I don't know the truth, brother. And, we're, and all I know is you can't trust a word comes out of the federal government, and you really can't believe a word comes out of Obama's mouth. Yes, sir. Thank you. Folks, the reason they're federalizing police and militarizing and trying to recruit bad FBI agents to CIA people is because foreign banks took the country over in the last 50 years or so. And they've issued 1.5, now it's 2.0, 2,000 trillion in fake counterfeit money to buy up everything. And they know that when the inflation starts or whatever economic implosion is coming, we know it's untenable. They have to then enforce over that and, and try to shut down political opposition that would try to fix things or bring them to justice. So our ancestors fought Nazis and communists. Now we fight sophisticated white collar frauds that have taken over the entire country and the world. And that's what it comes down to. And because we're facing sophisticated economic hitmen, and hardcore white collar fraud, the average person doesn't know how to deal with it. The whole thing is a fraud. It's coming down. And the criminals are running around buying armored redoubts all over the world from Switzerland to the Ozarks in Missouri. I mean, I know Hollywood people. I know billionaires. I mean, they all listen because they know I know what I'm talking about. Because they're all getting told this by heavy hitters. This whole thing's coming down. I don't know when. And I don't want any trouble. I don't want to start anything. I don't want a revolution. I just want my country back. I want stability back. I want a republic. I want my kids to have a future. I want cops to be safe. I want to be safe. I want the pension funds to be good. I want our vets to be taken care of. I want everybody to live in peace. But we got a bunch of crooks on top running things. And they hope they can create a big enough crisis. It's a smoke screen. They get away with it. Second hour coming up. More calls. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting edge supplements and nutraceuticals, bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected literally hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality, or because they're not 100% organic, or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Mel Vitality, Super Female Vitality, Lung Cleanse, Fluoride Shield, Oxy Powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting-edge, hardcore products. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution. DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show.